Welcome to Greenport, New York, a small town on the North Fork of Long Island. I'm Patrick Hopkins, and today I'm here to get you aboard Casa Sur Mare, a 2010 Sunseeker 64 Predator. Casa Sur Mare perfectly translated as beach house and the theme to this entire vessel. This Sunseeker 64 Predator has the preferred pair of man 1100 horsepower diesels. These engines are known for their ability to move boats of this size with ease and they're also known for their longevity. Casa Sulmer has a cruise speed of 28 knots and will run 33 knots at wide open throttle. Before we get into today's walkthrough, I wanted to mention three things that the owner has done that make this a standout. First, her all grip paint job done in 2020. Second, her Garmin electronics package. And third, her window treatments. While less subtle, it is the first thing you notice when you open the salon door. As is common in our walkthroughs of late, I will do the exterior, while Morgan Sandoval will take you through the interior. When observed from directly overhead, it is clear to see how well the exterior space is used. Moving from the foredeck to aft, we start with your ground tackle. Still forward, we have a large sun pad that is one of two aboard. Moving aft down the graciously wide side decks with a stainless rail for safety, we pass the cockpit and head straight for the swim platform. With the tender away, this is a giant teak beach. To starboard, access to the crew. Symmetrical side decks bring you around the aft sun pad and up into the cockpit. The cockpit can be covered by this retractable awning and has seating everywhere you look, making this a very social space. When the weather is perfect, the four pane cockpit door opens all the way. Doing this in tandem with an open sunroof makes this one flow through space. Now to the interior. As previously mentioned, this four pane sliding door opens all the way to port, revealing an open and airy salon. The settee to starboard can accommodate many guests or just a few who wanna lounge out. With the high-low table and accompanying chairs, this easily converts into a ready-to-use workspace. Opposite of the couch is an entertainment center, which includes a TV and Bose surround sound cabinets that run all the way along the port side bulkhead. As we move forward and to starboard of the salon is the helm. The helm chair runs from midship all the way to the starboard side. The helm houses our man engine controls and just to port, the bow and stern thruster controls. The man engine displays are flanked by these just installed Garmin multifunction displays that are equipped with autopilot and radar. The owner of this boat chose to add a FLIR night vision camera and the control for that is also here at the center of the helm. A small set of stairs with a stainless steel handrail brings us into the galley. The galley contains a full-size fridge, two freezers, a microwave, a four burner cooktop, and a large sink. Just a step forward and to starboard is the lower salon, or as it has been referenced, the breakfast nook. In the lower salon, you'll find two large opening portholes, a solid wood table, and a seating area for four. Let's step forward into the guest accommodations, starting with the VIP. The VIP has a Queen Island berth, illuminated by three opening port lights, one on either side and the other overhead. The ensuite in the VIP also acts as the day head. Heading aft and to starboard is the bunk stateroom with two transverse bunks and a storage cabinet. In this storage cabinet, you'll find a wine cooler. Heading aft on the port side, we pass the laundry, which has a combination washer and dryer. This full beam master has a king bed and an incredible amount of storage. My favorite feature in this master would have to be the large windows on both port and starboard sides in which the aft of these windows can be opened. On the forward bulkhead is the TV and entrance to the ensuite. One of the things about the Sunseeker Predator that has made her so popular is her adaptability. During the day, you'll find she's open and airy, making a perfect shared space for all the guests on board. She can also transform into a more private and intimate setting. The true hallmark of every great yachting experience is a boat that connects you with both your guests and your surroundings. On behalf of Dennis and Yachting and myself, Patrick Hopkins, I want to thank you for joining us aboard this walkthrough today. If you have any questions or would like to get aboard, feel free to contact me.